Hi, for this video what I want to do is use double angle trig identities to help find exact values. We are not going to use a calculator in this video, we are going to use the unit circle to help us find the values that we are looking for. Alright, so the double angle identities that could possibly show up are sine of 2x is equal to 2 sine x and times cosine x, cosine of 2x is equal to cosine squared x minus sine squared x, cosine of 2x is also equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared x, it's just rewriting the above statement in a different form, and the same thing as cosine 2x could also appear in the form of 2 cosine x, um, 2 cosine squared x minus 1, where x just represents the angle measure. So the first one that we have is 1 minus 2 sine squared of 15 degrees. So if you notice, this one does give us the second or the um, second cosine 2x form, so we could really rewrite this in terms of cosine of 2 times my angle value, so in this case my angle value is 15 degrees, and then we could simplify. So we have cosine of 30 degrees. Now what we can do is go to our unit circle, and on our unit circle we could find our 30 degree measure, and remember that it's always cosine comma sine, so our cosine value would be the square root of 3 over 2. Had we plugged this into a calculator, it would have given us an approximate value and not the exact value. Alright, so moving on to the next one, this time we have 2 cosine squared of the angle measure minus 1. So for this particular one, we are going to be using the very bottom form of cosine 2x. So we still have the same thing, we really have cosine of 2 times our angle measure 112.5 degrees. And so if we simplify that 2 times 112.5 degrees, we would end up with cosine of 225 degrees. So then we would use our unit circle, and we would come to 225 degrees, and remember that this is cosine comma sine, so we would use negative square root 2 over 2. and that would be our exact value. So this one is negative because it is in quadrant 3, and the cosine value is negative in quadrant 3. Alright, our last one, we have to do a little work on this one. Um, we are using the first double angle identity, the 2 sine x cosine x, and the thing is, is we don't have it written as 2 times sine x cosine x, this is really 12 times sine x cosine x, so we have to simplify it and rewrite it as 6 times 2 sine of 15 cosine 15. So now we have the part that we needed, we just have to put a 6 in front of it, so we would say that this is really 6 times sine of 2 times 15. So this is really 6 times sine of 30 degrees. So then again if we go to our unit circle, 30 degrees, our sine value is 1 half, and so we would do 6 times 1 half ends up giving us 3, and that would be our exact value. So this is the only one that had I plugged it into the calculator, it would have given me the exact value. The other two would have just given me decimal approximations. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.